I think it was two years ago that I stopped doing the podcast and I kind of stopped doing it in all at once. And I remember feeling like, okay, I'm done. Not permanently, but I'm going to put this thing on ice. It was a little bit of like a mission accomplished feeling. Like if you ever finish a big job and then you kind of don't want to go there or look at it again, you're moving on. It felt like that a little bit. So in this podcast, now that we're waking it back up, I'm going to talk through what those reasons were and what the plan for it in the future is. And I've got Brady here, who you guys will get to know, who has been helping us a lot for several years. In fact, he's done the majority of the filming with my dad now for um, quite a while. So in addition to doing that, he's got um, quite a bit of insight in podcasting and construction and real estate. In fact, we're in his studio right now, which is why the scene is different. Mm-hmm. And actually, that's one reason, that one among several, of why the podcast stopped. I used to film it in my shop, and it actually worked really well. It was kind of a nice... It, it had the right vibe, but yeah. but we moved. And and so I, I don't li- I don't live there anymore. And the tenant who was renting that house has that has that space all full. So one reason among several others is I don't have that exact space. But that's kind of an excuse. Brady, you produce and put podcasts out at your day job. So is this the type of well, you've actually done a, le- a lot yourself as well in terms mm-hmm. of being on them, not just producing them, right? Yeah, yeah. So I, I produce them um, uh, full time for a software company. Oh, I host them. I host them and produce them. We do a live show and a pre recorded one. Uh, but then I have have some on the side and do other podcasts for other people too. So and I love podcasts. I just love talking to people and asking questions. And so, do you, what do you feel like has happened with podcasts over the last like three or four years? I know during COVID they got pretty big and lots there was lots of them popping up, but it was yeah. big before that. Has, has it ever? slowed down in terms of the it growth of man. podcasting or what's it's only on? gotten more like 2016 podcasts started to really take off and i thought like okay podcasts are like they're swamped like everyone's doing a podcast that's what i thought but then if you look at it now on a graph it looks like this it's just yeah it's exponential yeah. so it, i don't know they're just they keep on getting more and more popular but um there's still room for more new interesting conversations to be had i feel like there's yeah. also a lot of like big commercial podcasts stepping into it like hey best buy wants to advertise so best buy starts a branded podcast i'm like Meh. who listens to that i though? don't know man <laughs> <laughs> who does i don't know because <laughs> to be honest even like the big podcasts who've been around forever like the, that i've listened to you get tired of them, you yeah. know? So even if there is a show that's big and has been around forever, and maybe the same thing with like a, with YouTube channels, but at least for me, I'll get kind of tired of listening to a particular thing. So yeah. I wonder if, you know, there's like some churn that just is going to be a part of it, of yeah. podcasts coming and going that that is how it goes, so... It definitely is like people evolve. We see that with the, the podcast I produce is like people come into it, they get what they need and they move on to something more advanced or yes. just something different. If it's entertainment. They get bored of it. So yes. Okay. Yeah. Well that getting what you need. The reason that our podcast started in the very first place guys, and I may have mentioned this, although I don't remember, but my dad obviously is the heart and soul of our channel, but I always kind of knew that someday I needed to at least be willing if I had to, to, speak to the audience or, you know, at least like have it be an option. And I could not do it. In fact, I remember the first time I tried and I was just, it it was brutal. It was so difficult. And so we started the podcast as a way for me to practice. I'll say it felt like much lower stakes. It was on the other channel. It just felt like a safe space to practice. And even the format where it's more conversational is easier than just speaking straight to a camera so the fact of the matter is i kind of got in got it going as like a training wheels program for me to overcome i can't say fear i don't know what the word is but i'd, I'd say for me it was fear of being on camera i mean not the podcast but yeah. i remember doing my first like facebook live a few years ago yeah i thought i was gonna throw up dude <laughs> yeah <laughs> i was like i got done i was like oh my goodness oh. it's brutal putting yourself out there <laughs> <laughs> it really is. Yeah. And doing interviews. Well, first of all, when I was doing it with my dad a lot, that was cake because he's so good. And I it was usually in the position of kind of, you know, bringing stories and information out of him, which was 
pretty easy, which is kind of what I did and what you've done, you know, filming yeah. him. You just kind of Bring guide yeah. and help. And then I started interviewing other folks because I wanted to see if I could do that with, you know, without him, you know, making my life easy. And that worked well. But then what happened after, I don't know, maybe after a hundred episodes, I'm telling you, I had so many people, I, I, I started doing interviews and having conversations and having people like message and getting on the show that it felt like everybody was getting something value out, valuable out of it. The point is there was a lot of conversations that I had towards the end that I remember thinking like, I don't think I would listen to this particular conversation. So why am I doing it and putting it out? Yeah. And so, and one in particular, I filmed this podcast with these guys and I never put it up because it was so it was so brutal and they, it was just a hundred percent like a, just a pitch, just a pitch. Yeah, exactly. And I've had that happen before. It sucks. It's and, a crappy feeling. Yeah. And they didn't. And I like, I tried to make the quality as high as I could. So I would always tell people like, you don't have to have an awesome microphone, but at least, I don't know if you can wear headphones that helps, you know, try to have a good internet, connect, like things like that. And I definitely did try to I tried to get him to have a good microphone, but these guys were standing in their shop and the camera, their phone was like 20 feet away. <laughs> and so it was so hard to hear him. And that was the moment where I was kind of like, all right, I think that I'm good on <laughs> doing this. I've kind of overcome my fear a little bit and I'm going to put this thing on ice for a minute. And actually it, it did kind of work because it was around that time that i I would. I haven't made a lot of videos on our main channel, but I've put a, f a few out there, and I wouldn't have done that without the practice. So, well, you were also getting busy with your house around the same time, weren't you? Yeah, that's that was the other thing we were. Building I probably a house. was too. I yeah. mean, <laughs> on a totally separate end. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, we were yeah. both kind of building homes, houses around the same time, and so it seemed like a, the right moment to take a break, and then it seemed like the right moment to kind of take a break. It had accomplished what the mission was and so to me it's like you have insights and you have stories so it's like people tune in for the insights which could be a guess but i feel like a lot of people that do podcasts they just get used to putting guests and then once you're on that hamster wheel you have to keep producing it's like gotta have a guess and you're just kind of filling space yeah and it becomes about just uh, filling space rather than like okay who's got the best like most unique insights yeah that's know? exactly right and then the other thing is we never made a dollar from the podcast. I never had a, uh, a a sponsor. And actually, that was one of the things that that where I actually maybe this was the main thing. I got all the way with this with, with this sponsor. It was going to be our first sponsor, and it was a software company that was involved with construction. It was a mm. perfect fit, and we like worked out a deal. And I think they were going to pay us like eight hundred dollars for like I can't remember like eight or 10 episodes. So not, not that much, but yeah. enough to like be like, okay, cool. Practice it. And then two times they, after we like had a deal, they came back and like reduced. They said, actually we talked to our VP and they said we can only pay X. <laughs> and the first time I was kind of like, okay, because again, I, it wasn't enough money to really be concerned about, but I, I wanted to just practice, you know, working with a then they did it again and I was like, okay, no more. We're done. <laughs> it really put a bad taste in my mouth. And I don't I don't even really the point was never to make money anyways, but that put a yeah. bit of a bad taste in my mouth. So yeah. here we are. Yeah, that'll do it, man. <laughs> well, what are you what are you most excited about as we kind of experiment and, you know, kick the dust off? Um I guess I would say I'm feeling the most excited about I'll say kind of like getting to work again, you know, yeah. it's like just kind of digging in because I learned so much, not just from the conversations with the guests that we had, but I felt like I improved and got better at speaking. I, and that was, I really learned a lot, um, by the practice of doing yeah. it. And so I'm kind of, I don't know, I feel like rusty and kind of dusty again at this. I'm struggling even in this conversation, but I'm kind of excited to sort of get into a routine Yeah, that, that maybe that's the answer. You know, it's yeah. like working out. Like if you kind of start working out, it can be challenging. And then once you get yourself into a habit, yeah. really great things can happen. And so I'm kind of excited to get into a habit of putting this type of content out because 
who knows what might come of it if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah that makes sense, man. It's like, it, yeah, like you said, working out, it takes time to get back into. It's like, all right, we're, we're warming up, all right? Yeah. I say that because that's one of the things I've started doing, actually, is working out. Maybe I started maybe 10 months ago. Yeah. And I've kind of gotten it to a point where it's a habit now. I'm really proud of myself because I never yeah. worked out at all. So that's an example. That's that's a habit that I've kind of, I think I've got it into the habit state and I think putting out podcast content more regularly could get there as well. At least for me going forward, I don't know if it will just be interviews or what types of interviews or easier conversations like this or ideally getting my dad sit down. He's hard to like pull away from the work that he's doing from the skill saw from the, from the corded skill saw yeah exactly <laughs> i don't know if you've noticed that working with him but like he is and everybody you guys probably could figure you probably could tell but he is the most comfortable just working tools on yeah in hand and anything else you know filming and recording is a major inconvenience to him because he is a worker first and foremost. And people would probably never know that. I mean, I was a I was a fan of the channel before we ever worked together. I used to watch videos and he makes it look easy and natural and uh but it's it's amazing how how inconvenient running a camera and having a setup is while you're trying to work. It's different if it's like, okay, we're yeah. just making entertainment, but it's like, hey, we're documenting real work that's happening. Yeah. Uh, it's it's hard to do both of those things in your brain at once. But yeah, he does it really well. Yeah, I don't think you can tell from the outside. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't think you can. And he, it, I think he does it, enjoy it. It's just hard. Yeah, but he is like at his heart a a builder, a, a a tradesman. You know, he wants to be building with his hands all day. And the the filming, and in fact, even the podcasting that I did with him from time to time was he was always kind of like, well, if you want to, I will. <laughs> <laughs> I think he. Yeah. I think he knew that it was, I just was wanting to practice. And he also knew very well that it wasn't, you know, making any money or paying any bills or there wasn't anything really obvious coming yeah. from us, but he's so supportive and cool. He's like, okay. Maybe what we do is we set up an, a little table right here, Nate, and we go to Lowe's and we get those little, uh, those little birdhouse projects and we yeah. each get one. I'll build a birdhouse. Your dad can build a sailboat. You know, you build a little schoolhouse. We'll just sit here and we'll tinker. So we got to get him like knitting. Cause think yeah. about it. He could be knitting and building something, Yeah, but we could keep his, you know, brain and mouth engaged with a microphone yeah. to suck out the nuggets that are just, you know, flowing out of him. Knitting would be perfect for, uh, a podcast yeah well anyways that's a plan guys <laughs> so you can if you're if the feed is still on on your phone or device you're, you'll probably see th more things pop up all of the old episodes are great and I, I hope it didn't sound like i was slandering them several of them i'm really proud of so um go back they're all relevant none of those conversations were you know about current events or anything they're they're all you know conversations that are just as relevant today Lots of different types of professionals and um, people from YouTube and tradesmen and all, all kinds of things. So go back and click through those if you are bored of all your other shows and pay attention to this one because we will have um, some amount of fresh content starting to drip out. And speak up if there's something in particular that you liked or would like to see more of. And we'll try to steer things in that direction. Anything else? I think that's it, man. I'm excited. I'm excited to try some new topics and see where this goes. All right. Thanks, guys. We'll catch you next time. Thanks.